Hello, my beautiful family. Welcome back to our kitchen. If you're new here, hi, my name is Claudia, and I want to invite you to hit that subscribe button so you too can be part of our family. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you how to make the easiest and most delicious birria nachos. So if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to begin by making our birria. In a large pot, we're going to add four quarts and a half of water. We're going to set it at medium high heat. Into our water, we're going to add one whole onion, four bay leaves, and salt. I'm using three tablespoons and a half, but of course that's all going to be to taste. And we're just going to bring it to a boil. So once the water comes to a boil, we're going to add seven pounds of meat. I'm using two pounds of chuck tender roast, one pound of chuck pot roast, and four pounds of short ribs. So we're just going to add it all in there. Okay, and we're going to bring it to a boil again. And once it comes to a boil, we're going to remove all of the scum form on top of our pot. Okay, so once we remove all of the scum, now we can get our chiles ready for our birria sauce. So we're just going to be adding three chile anchos, make sure that you clean them, along with 22 new Mexico chile pots. So we're just going to allow them to soak for about five minutes and then we can remove them. Okay, so after four minutes, we can remove the chiles. Make sure that you get them all. And we're also going to remove some of the broth. And we're also going to reduce the heat to medium low at this point. And once we have that ready, now we can make our sauce. To make our sauce, we're going to begin by crushing all of our spices, and that's 10 allspice berries, one teaspoon of peppercorn, two teaspoons of oregano, two teaspoons of cumin seeds, and two teaspoons of thyme. Throw them in the blender cup, or you can use your mocajete. And to that, we're also going to add one piece of cinnamon stick and four bay leaves. And we're just going to pulverize them. Okay, so once all of our spices are nice and crushed, we can add the rest of our ingredients. So we're going to add seven garlic cloves, a small piece of ginger, all of our chili pots, a quarter cup of white vinegar, along with our broth. And now we're just going to blend until we have a smooth sauce. Okay, and once we have our birria sauce, now we can add it back to our pot. Okay, so add your sauce and strain if you need to. And I'm just going to add a little bit more water to my blender so I can get the rest of the sauce. Okay, so we're just going to mix everything. And let me tell you, it smells delicious already. Okay, so once we mix everything together, we're going to add three Roma tomatoes. And now we're just going to cover it and allow it to cook for two hours and a half or until the meat is nice and tender, a medium low heat. All right guys, so it's been two hours and 45 minutes. At this point, we're going to check our birria. And let me tell you that it smells delicious. Oh yeah, our meat is nice and tender. So at this point, I'm going to turn it off. And I'm, and I'm also going to get the birria out so like that we can shred it. Okay guys, so now we're going to get our meat and begin to shred it. You just have to press it down and that's it. So you don't even have to use your fingers. And I'm just going to return it. And do the same to all the meat. All right, so once we have our birria all nice and shredded, now we're ready to return it back to the consomme. Before returning the birria to the consomme, we're going to strain the broth. So we're just gonna scoop and get rid of all of that. Okay, so now we're going to return the birria to the consomme. And now we're just going to reduce the heat to the lowest setting. And now we can set our birria to the side and make our nacho chips. All right, so before we fry our chips, we're going to finally shred our queso Oaxaca. Or you can use your favorite melting cheese, but you already know, queso Oaxaca, it's our favorite here. 
So just make sure that you finally shred it. Okay, and once we have our cheese, we can chop our cilantro and onion. Okay, transfer your onions. Now we are ready. Because we're going to grab our pan, set it on medium heat, and add enough oil to cover the tortilla chip. And for my tortillas, I cut them into fourths and I let them dry overnight, just so like that my chips can be a little more crunchier. All right, so once all oil is hot, we're going to place our tortilla triangles. And make sure that they are in a single layer so they can fry evenly. And we're just going to fry until they're nice and golden. Okay, and after a few minutes, they are ready, so we're going to remove them from the oil. Drain as much oil as possible and place them on your serving plate. And from here, we're going to add a little bit of salt and we're going to add our queso Oaxaca. Just so like that, our cheese can begin to melt. And once we have our chips ready, we can now get ready for the fun part. Alrighty guys, and now for the fun part, serving. So I am so ready. We're going to go into our birria that is nice and hot. We're going to grab it, pour it all over our nachos. And we're going to be eating this as a family. But of course, if you do it as an individual, do it right away. You wanna eat these while they're hot and the nachos are still crunchy. And we're going to top it with some more cheese. Our cilantro. And onion. And you can add as whatever you want, but for me, this is perfect. And just like that, now we are ready to enjoy our delicious birria nachos. And before serving, make sure you add your consomme. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now let me tell you guys that I hope you give this recipe a try and enjoy it just as much. We all love birria and the nachos, you know, it's just a fun way to enjoy it. Uh, of course, make sure that you eat it as soon as you serve it because you know the chips. But other than that, Give it a try and enjoy it just as much. Cheers and enjoy. Mmm. Mm hmm Susie, super delicious. It's the best. Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how I make some delicious birria nachos. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and if you regret this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.